Today is going to be a great Dollar Tree haul and I'm going to show you what kind of crafting you can do with the items that you can find in Dollar Tree. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for staying. I'm Anna Jansi and today in Art With More, we are going to share a Dollar Tree haul, which is one of my favorite stores. And I'm going to share with you some crafting that you can do with the items that you can find in Dollar Tree. Okay, so let's get started. I have two bags. Um, I'm going to share, there's some things that I already opened, but, but it's okay. <laughs> like for example, this fabric. Dollar Tree has great fabrics and I think their measurements is 18 by, by what, 20 or 27? I don't remember right now. I'm gonna show you here. But look how cute this um, fabric is. This is butterflies. You know that I love butterflies. And um, I'm gonna use this as cover of journal. I use them for cover of journals. I use them for pieces to put inside the journals. For example, I cut them if it's a little or a big butterfly or any uh, print that you have. I cut it and I put it inside the signatures as a pocket, as a decor. And of course, you can use this fabric to cover, uh, to make a cover if you're in junk journaling stuff. <laughs> crafting, not stuff, crafting. So yeah, so that's that. Um, I bought this one, this uh, paper, because now that I am, I'm making journals every week, because as I mentioned in one of the videos, I'm doing the artisan market of Marietta Square here in, here in, in Georgia. And uh, now I need to, I mean, work fast, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I'm trying to make journals, for example, this one, let me show you very quick. I'm trying to make journals, um, of course, with white paper, but in the inside, I'm trying to be creative and as fast as I can, so I can add some, these are pockets, this is, um, what is this, a paper bag. And um, I'm using the papers that I have and doilies, but I wanted to add some colors and I found, which I always have seen this, but I didn't kind of, I don't know why I never grabbed them, but it's this. This is the uh, activity pad and the measurements are good because let's see if they give the measurements. It's a nine by, five, by six inches. And when you fold it, see this, when you fold it, it, it gives you nice paper and they have colors. I mean, let's see, they have colors and they have this paper, which is great for drawing or even for writing. So what I do, and let me give you an example. I just take the page. Oh, that's it. it doesn't matter. I fold it and I just put it into the signature. So that is, I put it into a signature and that is part of, um, you know, it, it can give colors and uh, different pages to, to the journal, if that makes sense. So I bought this and I found this one, which, oh, which has the lines. This is a manuscript tablet, it says, and this one is 1175 inches by seven inches. And the great thing is that the lines are um they're easy it's long enough and it's easy to fold like for example if you take one page and you fold it you still have the lines so people can write on the journal so i thought sorry about the light i have a it's a overcast so <laughs> it's raining and raining so i have a light here in front of me so see the the lines and this is great for writing and for for drawing so yeah so I thought this was nice for journaling to back to school too. If you have kids and they need this stuff, or if you're a teacher, and it's oh, and it's a dollar twenty-five. By the way, it is true. Dollar Tree is putting things more expensive. They're going to have from a dollar fifty 
up to seven dollars i don't know if it's going to be worth it or not <clears throat> they say that there are a lot of articles that the ceo is saying that some of the items are going to stay at dollar 25 but they're going to be better quality items of a dollar 50 and they're going to be more in the plus section or whatever that you remember is down to five dollars now it's going to be on to seven dollars so we have to wait and see what he's bringing to the stores and see if really is worth it yesterday i went to one of the dollar trees and uh, i saw that the calendars are a dollar fifty so now when you are shopping, make sure to see the price. They have now this, uh, I don't know if I, I don't think I bought anything at $1.50, but they have this red circles that give you the price. There's some that says $1.25 and there are other that say $1.50 and it's all around the store. Remember that? And I think he's going to introduce these items of $7 or whatever. I think it's going to be all around the store. So make sure to check uh the price of your item because maybe you think is everything is a dollar 25 and it's not so let's see maybe it's worth it maybe he's going to bring good stuff than other stores is more expensive than seven dollars or a dollar 50 but calendars at a dollar 50 mm, i saw the quality and he have bring good calendars that was a dollar 25 and they were good so i don't know but yes it's true Dollar Tree is upgrading their, or putting different prices. <laughs> okay, so paper packs. This paper packs are so good. They are, you can, you cannot see everything, but at the side, you can see all the papers that they have. And I have, I have worked with those papers in the past. Like for example, this journal has a lot of those papers. Not the butterfly, but this one and this one is from a pad. And they're really good to just put together um, some designs for a signature. So I'm going to, so I bought this one and this one, which is, has a, a red, see the colors, a red thing. This one has red and the green. The green is so cute and beautiful. So I'm going to open this one very quick. And they seem to be handmade. Of course, not this one, the glitter. But look at this. This is beautiful. Maybe just one of these. Look at that. They look handmade. So you have that, this. Then you have little ones like that. And this have to be pieces that they're just, you know, leftovers from whatever. And uh, see, this is just random. Oh, this is cute. Look at this one. You see the texture of it? These. So it's worth it for $1.25, and we make wonders with this piece of papers. So you have that one, and this one. Look at this green one in the back. I don't know if you can see it. So this red, and this is still $1.25, which is good. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, it's, it's okay if, if he's bringing, if the, you know, the company is bringing very good quality items and uh, 25 cents more, I guess it's okay. I guess if he did that thing from a dollar to dollar 50, people will be very upset because I think people were upset about this 25 cents. So it's a process. All right, so this paper pack, uh, pay attention. They're always in the craft area, uh, craft area, and sometimes in the teaching area, and uh, they're worth it. So dollar twenty-five over there. I bought some more clips because now that I'm in the artisan market, I put my prices. For example, I put a happy face, yeah. and I put the prices, and I use a clip, so it's easier. So I bought more of these clips. These are the small ones. And look at this beauties. So I found, last time I found this happy face, but now they have this one, which is gorgeous. And look at this one. This is adorable. And I used the happy face for my price. <laughs> 
I want people to smile when they see my prices and they are just a market. <laughs> so for example, look, I write something and I put a happy face. So this, this happy face is from this one, which was the simple one, but I love them. And now I have the other one. So, so I, I really like this one. I don't know if you can see the colors that they're, they're just different. And I like how they combinate the color of the smile with, um, with the face. I love, I don't know what is happening now, but everything now for me has to be smiley faces. I don't know what it is, but it is what it is. <laughs> okay, so that's one bag. The second bag was from the Dollar Tree that I went yesterday. And uh, I found this. I thought yachts always they have this desk notepad, but this one I thought it was incredible. I don't know if you can, let me take it out of the bag so you can see it because of the light. I love it because it says new week, new you, which is totally right. And then it says work life and home life. And it's true. Sometimes even myself that I don't like to make lists, I'm making lists and I have to put work, what I have to do through the week, and then the things in the house because sometimes I just don't, I just forget, not forget, but I guess I have to be more organized now that I have this uh, artisan thing in every Saturday. So look the pad, how cute it is. And I love that it says new week, new you. And it's true. So it has, let's see how many. 60 sheets and it's from Yacht, which I love that brand. And um, it's a dollar twenty-five. And of course, I'm gonna put this in the journals. So normally when I do when it's a big paper like this, I fold it. I fold it and I put it as a pocket. Like for example, let me show you right quick. Let's say that I fold it like this, so you can see this part here, and I put it inside, let's say this pocket. Actually, that's what I'm gonna do for this journal. And I put it inside really quick. And look how it looks. It looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous, I love it. <laughs> so yeah. And of course I'm gonna use it, but I thought it was, it was really nice. So the other thing that I found, it was, I don't know, it's cute, is this notepads. They are, they're from, yeah, oh, see, this is the circle that I was telling you about. So that circle, that red circle, is gonna say, that sometimes they say $1.50, and of course this one, $1.25. But this is the circle that I'm talking about, and now we have to be careful or pay attention, not be careful, just pay attention of what are we buying. So this is a notepad and this is from Yacht. It has a hundred sheets, but look how cute the design is. Let me show you like this. So you have this star and then you have this. And this one is very nice because it says, I don't know what to do with this light. This one, I see, now the, this is something. <laughs> All right, so this one says dreams come true. And look inside, it says you're amazing. You see it? I don't know if you can see it. And the other one says good vibes too. And then in the inside, you have like a smiley face. You can see this face is different than this one. So I thought it was cute to put it in the journals. The only thing that I wish that the star or this sun doesn't have this pointy, it was more curved because it get damaged really quickly. Like it should be like this one, see that? But this is gorgeous, I like it. So I thought it was, it was great. So it's great for back to school, it's great for you if uh, as a teacher, it's great for you to just, you know, write something on, but I definitely gonna use it uh, as a junk journal. And look at this, this is pink. That's gorgeous. I really like it. I don't know, I thought it was cute. Okay, of course I bought this. This is the double-sided tape uh, from uh, Crafter Square. This thing works. I'm telling you, every time that I go to Dollar Tree and I see it, I even buy two or three because 
it this work and it, this is a dollar twenty five. Still, it's a dollar twenty five. Let's see what happens. The other thing that I found was clear stamps, and this I think they're new. Let me take it out of the out of the package, and I like the what this what it says. Look how pretty. Let me see if I can show you. Look how pretty that is. Hopefully I can. If not, I'm going to zoom in. <laughs> so they are very, very nice. I really like it. So I bought this. This is $1.25. And at the end, you know, you always have to go and check out the, um, the you know, the counters when you're going to uh, check out because they always have goodies there. And I found this planner stickers is 385 pieces and they're really nice for junk journal. So you have, you have this one here and you had more designs, but I thought this one was more the, the type of, of uh, things that I like. Look at that one. This is really cute. And I like the I like the colors. You have smiley faces again. <laughs> and sad faces. It's okay. You can have sad faces sometimes. Hearts. Love hearts. And look at this last one. Cute, right? Okay, another thing that I found, not, not in this one, but last week or something, was this placemats which I have a video just to let you know how because I'm going to show you what I did with this because now we're going to talk about what type of craft you can do with Dollar Tree items. So you remember this uh, placemats. You have this one and you have this design. Of course, it's cut already because I already did the crafting and you have a butterfly and now I think you have like a sunflower. But I didn't grab it because the text is in the middle, so it's going to cut the, the design, if that makes sense. Because what I do is that I make a journal cover. So from here, you can make this. And this is the one. Let me take out the price. This is the one that I made. Look how cute. So this is this. See that? I have a full tutorial on how to make this cover, but I just wanted to mention this here. Because I know sometimes crafting, see this part here? I put an elastic and all that. Sometimes crafting or any hobby can be expensive. So just to let you know that does not have to be expensive. With a couple of things, you can make something beautiful. And this is from Dollar Tree as well. The only thing that I did is that I changed the beads because they were too big. And I showed that in that video. Uh, so check it out. I'm going to include it in the description box below. It's very quick and easy, and I show you how to make a journal cover with this um, placemat. So this one, just to, make, to show you, this one here is oh, it's so cute. This is, look how pretty. Do you see the bling bling? I put some ring stones here. Rhinestones? I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you can see it. See that? And the flowers. This flowers. This die cut. Um, Wood cut flowers are from Dollar Tree as well. And the inside is the same concept with the elastic. And I made a journal. See? This is something that can help you now for Christmas. If you want to give journals to all your friends and family, uh, you can find beautiful designs. And the only thing that you have to do is just put some little, you know, something, something in the front. And you already have beautiful, um, beautiful journals. So see, that's something nice that you can, you can make. All right, another thing that I want to show you today, and this is almost the end of the video, is what I am doing with pull tops. Do you, you know that um, I work with aluminum pull tops? I love it. Uh, I make journal covers, which, by the way, they sold already. I'm so happy with it. And people are like, oh, my God, this is so unique. And now I'm starting to make uh, purses again. For example, I have this one, and I'm just going to show it to you just in case, you know, I don't know, 
you want to because I'm doing customized orders for this I don't know if I'm gonna put it in my Etsy shop I know Etsy has been has had a lot of trouble so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that I don't know if I maybe should put it in my website and say if you want a customized color you can send me an email and you know something like that because I don't know but look at this beauty this is aluminum pull top crochet so I did a flower here and you have uh, the liner inside zipper you have the double crochet here or the so the pull so it grabs good in your shoulder but I'm gonna show you how it looks let's see if the frame goes in <laughs> ah see I'm too short let me let me fix it so hopefully I'm a frame so this is the purse and look how pretty it looks look at this it looks stunning isn't that cute it's adorable it's really nice it's different and uh it just it just works so i'm gonna start doing making this purses and i think what i'm gonna do is that i'm going to include it in my let's say i said before i think i'm gonna include it in my website which is artwithmore.com and uh, uh, this are going to be customized how they're going to be customized because of the color I'm going to start showing the colors of thread that I have and by the way, this is nylon thread So it's durable if it gets wet you just put it to dry and it's fine The only thing that you have to be careful because it's aluminum is with the Sun don't expose it too much with the Sun It's not that you're going to burn but it's going to take a little bit. It's going to get warm because it's uh, it's aluminum so I love this. <laughs> I just love this. So that's what I'm going to do. So just in case you want to order some of these, um, you can let me know. Uh, I'm going to put it, I think, today in my website and the colors of thread that I have. And if you have some color of thread here in the United States, of course, that you found, and maybe there's a common store like Michael's, Joanne, um, Walmart sometimes have, or any other store that uh we have in common maybe i can find the thread and uh, i can make it for you okay so this customized item cute adorable and the other one that i made is with flowers this beauty here this is a clutch let me take this off this is a clutch type and uh, this one is flowers look how pretty that is this is gorgeous. Again, I make a flower in the zipper. So this is a zipper. You have the linen is liner inside. Le lining? I think it's called lining. The lining inside. And all this is independent flowers. And then I put them together. And I crochet them. So this is something for like this. See that? Like you're, you're going out. It's cute. <laughs> You're going out and you have your little, you know, your little clutch there. So yeah, this one too is going to be in my website. And um, if you want to, I'm going to customize them too. I can make two colors like this one, or I can make just one. Like for example, if you want one like this with just black or red or whatever color I show you in the catalog or in the options, I can make those. So I'm going to do that. So check my my website and I just love it. Look at that. I think it's cute. I really like it. And I'm reusing, repurposing. I mean all this poltas will be in the landfill. So So yeah, so I guess I have to put the camera down again. So that's it. I hope you like this video. Remember to check out my website, which is artwithmore.com. If you're in the area of uh, Kennesaw, Marietta, um, where else, like uh, Ackworth, and you want to go and see what we have Saturdays, go to the Artisan Market in Marietta Square. We are from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And um, you're going to see all these goodies and more. Uh, again, thank you so much. 
uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you like this video like share and comment let me know what you think about the purses if you like them or not even if you don't like it you can tell me <laughs> if you have some ideas that what what kind of shape i can do i can maybe try it but for now i think i'm going to make this purses and of course i'm going to continue making my journals i love to to make journals and now with all these ideas of placement and stuff it's just it's just endless creativity so thank you so much see you next video big kiss see you soon bye